This is the tutorial for the NGORD dismemberment system. First, you're going to want to go to your plugins and make sure that you have Control Rig enabled. And then, thanks to a lot of the improvements in 5.1, a lot of the system's setup has been automated. So if you are using Unreal Engine 5.1 or newer, make sure you skip to this timecode. So for anyone using Unreal Engine 5.0.3 or Unreal Engine 4, you're going to right click on the skeleton asset that you're going to be using for the system and then go over to scripted actions and use create dismemberment rig. This should create two new assets. We're gonna open up the control rig that it created first. Go over to the rig hierarchy, right click any of the bones and go to refresh and then you'll refresh it with any skeletal mesh that's using the skeleton that you chose. This is because in older versions of the engine there wasn't the procedural creation of control rig stuff. Next, we're gonna to wanna to open up the animation blueprint Go to the Anim Graph and select the Control Rig node. Then in the Details panel, we're going to go to Control Rig Class and set that to the new Control Rig that was created. After that, you'll compile and save, and then we're just about done. You just have to open up your character blueprint, add a dismemberment or a gore component, not both. The gore component does all the things the dismemberment component does, but also adds all the blood effects into the world. So if you have your own way of doing all your own blood effects, then just add the dismemberment component. And then in the details panel of the dismemberment component, you'll want to go to anim instance class and set it to the new one that was created. After that, you can use the system by dragging your component onto your event graph and then using the dismember limb function. If you would like to test to make sure everything's working, you can go to your plugins folder, find the ngor dismemberment system, and then go to the showcase level. Once it's loaded, click the guy on the right, go to details and click on the gore component, and then set the anim instance class to the one that you created. After that, go to the mesh and then just set it to the mesh that you're gonna be using. From there, you can hit play and just start clicking on his limbs and make sure that everything falls off accordingly. All right, this is the part for anyone using Unreal Engine 5.1 or newer. You're gonna right click on the skeleton asset that you're gonna be using for the system and then go over to scripted actions and use create dismemberment rig. This will create a new animation blueprint asset. And we're just about done. You just have to open up your character blueprint, add a dismemberment or a gore component, not both. The gore component does all the things the dismemberment component does, but also adds all the blood effects into the world. So if you have your own way of doing all your own blood effects, then just add the dismemberment component. And then in the details panel of the dismemberment component, you'll want to go to anim instance class and set it to the new one that was created. After that, you can use the system by dragging your component onto your event graph and then using the dismember limb function. If you would like to test to make sure everything's working, you can go to your plugins folder, find the ngor dismemberment system, and then go to the showcase level. Once it's loaded, click the guy on the right, go to details and click on the gore component, and then set the anim instance class to the one that you created. After that, go to the mesh and then just set it to the mesh that you're gonna be using. From there, you can hit play and just start clicking on his limbs and make sure that everything falls off accordingly. There is a common issue where you'll see the whole body being duplicated instead of limbs falling off. If this is happening to you, all you have to do is open up the animation blueprint and then compile and it should work. If it still doesn't, it usually works after an editor restart. 